Hello guys, good morning. I feel like I always start these vlogs looking crazy because I've always got my colour in. Um, but today's vlog is very, very exciting. I'm doing two events in a row, which are both very, very exciting. It feels like I can't say because I haven't been allowed to say, but obviously by the time I post this, you guys would have seen it on my like Instagram. Tonight, I'm going to the NTAs, which is like the National Television Awards. I watch this every year when it's on TV and I'm so excited to be going. Um, so me and Casey are going up to stay in Canary Wharf tonight because that's where near where the awards are. Um, so we booked a hotel, we're gonna go over to Canary Wharf, get ready, that's where my hair's in the curlers, um, go to the awards tonight, which is at the O2. And then tomorrow morning, I am hopping on the Eurostar to Paris and going to Paris. This is my first ever brand trip, like anywhere, like overnight anywhere just let alone in another country. So I'm very excited and yeah, tomorrow I'm going to Paris with Meta, the company that owns like Instagram and Facebook. They are sending me to Paris to go to a dinner with Netflix for Emily in Paris because the new season of Emily in Paris comes out tomorrow. So basically I've got probably the most exciting two days I've had in ages. Um, so I thought I would vlog, of course, and bring you guys along to everything. Um, here's my little outfit of the day. I'm wearing a tracksuit. I had to plan my outfit and like, my packing very carefully because obviously I'm going up to stay in Canary Wharf tonight but then I'm gonna go immediately from that hotel to St Pancras to get the train to Paris so I need to remember my passport I'm gonna double check before I go um but yeah I'm about to leave I'm gonna just go out in the world with my hair like this so hopefully I don't bump into anyone I know I'm gonna go to uh Canary Wharf to our hotel for some reason all the hotels are really expensive in like central London um so the cheapest one we could find is this like pretty dingy looking one but it is in Canary Wharf which is quite like a new area so it shouldn't be too bad anyway might as well get my coat on while I'm chatting to you guys um but yeah so I had to pick an outfit that was like um, obviously suitable to travel up to Paris in or up to Paris, down to Paris, across to Paris. I don't know what you'd say. Um, so I'm wearing this trench coat with a matching tracksuit. Now, I mean, I could, I'm not dressed the most smart, but it's just for the traveling. And then obviously when I get to Paris, we're going pretty much straight away to the event in the evening and I'll be wearing my fancy dress. So yeah, here's my little outfit of the day. The tracksuit is from Hera. My coat is Pull&Bear and then I've got my little suitcase and yeah, ready to go. I look kind of crazy, but I mean, you know, it's for the good of the hair. You guys know how much I'm going on about how my hair doesn't hold the curls. So I'm keeping them in my heatless curl for as long as possible. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get my shoes on and head to the train station, meet Casey, head to Canary Wharf and I will see you guys when I get there. I've made it to Canary Wharf and we've got Joe in the juice. I don't know if you can hear me, but it's very loud. I've took my hair out because I was getting some funny looks, so I took my hair out, which is a bad idea. But anyway, I've got my Joe in the juice. Case is here. We're gonna go to the hotel to check in in a minute. have arrived in the hotel room. It's actually quite nice, here's Casey, got her colours in. Um, it's a bit old fashioned, but you can tell it used to be cute and there's a little chandelier. I feel like we can make it look cute for pictures. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, what's the, what's the bathroom like? Oh it's, oh, it's quite big. This reminds me of like a holiday bathroom, like abroad. Yeah, oh it's fine. Right, we're gonna start getting ready because, um, is that a wardrobe? There's wardrobe as well. Not mirrors, give that. But that's one thing the hotel's lack of. Yeah, there's lots of mirrors. Um, we've just seen that Leo Woodhull and Theo James are both nominated for awards. So we've gotta look nice. Um, so we're gonna start getting ready because we have gotta go in like, probably an hour and 45 minutes. <laughs> oh God, so I'll see you when we get her ready. We have got ready. This is Casey's outfit. It's from House of CB. It. It's so cute. Can I show you what outfit? Yeah. This so. is my outfit. The dress is from ASOS from Daisy Street. It was £36. Looks such bow. good quality. Yeah, it's really nice like material. It kind of feels like a swimming costume, but like in a good way. <laughs> yeah. We're going to take some pics and then go. We're actually ready early for once. <laughs> it never happens. Yeah, never happens. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to take some pictures in our hotel room. And then go. 
piss yourself. Yeah. Is it better like directly oh. under or is that weird? Wait, this is so cute. Is that good? Yeah. Okay, cute. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Do you think I should like hold my bag maybe? Oh, I think the lighting's better. Yeah, it looks better. That's not center. Did you want it to be center? Well, it could. Cause does it look like oh, I'm like really growing cute. a chandelier on my head? Do you want like the the bright lighting no, coming through? No. We're at the free drinks at the bar in the O2. My hair is still curled. It's not as curled as it was, but it's still curled. Mine is too curled. Casey's hair looks very nice. <laughs> We've made it to the suite. I've never been in one of these. Yeah, this is like the nearest view. If I see Leo at all from one day, I'm gonna cry. You're gonna have to play like Where's Wally later. Yeah, it is like playing Where's Wally, yeah. This is so fun. Is this one Yeah. Fun. Yeah, it's really funny seeing a lot of people in real life. Yeah. It's like we're being Grace literally stood there like who's that? Who's yeah. that? Sadly um Leo Woodhall was not, not there. No. But or the little the, the uh Theo James. Yeah. yeah, but it was it's good, it's fun. My hair is still a bit curly. Oh, your hair's I put on my pumps. I don't know if I showed the vlog, but um I bought these pumps that you like fold up to put on when your feet hurt from the heels. And I've got them on already, um, even though we're not gone yet. But um, yeah, it's currently 10.30 p.m. I'm going to sleep very well tonight, or I need to, because I have to wake up early in the morning to go to the Eurostar. Um, but yeah, everything's going well. We had some food, had some drinks, and yeah, I think there's like half an hour left. We're just in an ad break at the minute. And the then- should be good to the we, yeah, they keep talking about the after party and we're like, how are we getting an after party? Um, but that's probably a bad idea anyway because I'm going to Paris tomorrow. But, but if yes. we would be there. Yes, we would be there. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get a cab back to the hotel after and sleep because we're very tired. Oh, I'm very tired at least. Hello guys, good morning. I look a bit crazy because I've got my heatless curler in. Um, it's the next morning. We got back from the awards last night and just went to bed. It was so cold. It was like, I feel like it was winter. Like, I don't understand. It was summer like two weeks ago and now it's winter. Um, but we did go out with no coats on, which is probably stupid. I'm definitely gonna wear, I'm definitely gonna wear a coat tonight in Paris to the event because it's so cold. Um, but I've just got up, got ready, got back in my tracksuit and I'm about to leave to go to St Pancreas. I think I have to get the DLR and I've never got the DLR before but we can hope I, I get the right the right train. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go to St Pancreas, get some breakfast there, cause I'm feeling quite hungry, um, and then probably take my hair out before I meet um, a girl that I'm traveling with, cause I don't wanna look like a weirdo the first time I meet her. Um, but yeah, I will catch you guys up when I'm on my way to St Pancreas. but we're waiting for our car. This is Lara <laughs> and we don't know where our driver is but we're in the process of finding him. It's fine because we've got quite a few hours to get ready so yeah. I'm not stressed. But I can't believe we're in Paris after like two hours. It's really weird. That is so crazy. Like it seems, yeah, like I'd have, we've been in a whole other country. I know. But um, it's very sunny, sunnier than London so. It's a bit warmer as well. Actually. Yeah, I'm happy. But I'll date you guys when we get to the hotel. We've checked in, it took a while, they wouldn't let us check in, but we're checked in, it's now four o'clock. I've got to be ready by 7.30, about to go see my room. I'm quite excited, we've got our own room, so I've left Lara, and I'm gonna go see what my room looks like. This hotel seems very fancy, so I feel like it'll be really nice. Okay, this is my room. It's super cute. I don't know what, there's like a cage. What's in here? Wardrobe slash coffee station. 
Here's the bed, and then this is the bathroom. Oh, this is really cute. Shower. <gasps> That's so cute. Here we are. Okay, so it's four o'clock. I've just checked it, and I've basically on my own in Paris now until 7.30. So I've got three and a half hours. I don't think it will take me that long to get ready because I feel like it only takes me an hour to do my makeup, two hours max. So I think I might go for a little wonder for half an hour to go get a snack because I'm quite hungry and I feel like obviously France has good bread. So I might go for a little walk around. I don't know if that's a bad idea because I have no idea where anything in Paris is. I don't know where I'm going. I might try and Google like, is it called a patisserie where you get bread or is that a boulangerie? I don't know. I'm just alone in Paris right now. I mean, Lara's checking in her room. Um, so hopefully I can find out where she's staying. But yeah, that's my updates. The Eurostar was pretty good. It's making me think like, I wanna come to Paris all the time. It's literally two and a half hours from London and it was, like just felt like I was on a train to like Manchester or somewhere, but then we just arrived in Paris. Um, but yeah, my outfit for tonight is like a long black dress. I don't know if I explained this. I'm going to a dinner with Netflix for Emily in Paris season four, part two coming out. And they told us that some of the cast will be there. They didn't say who, but I'm hoping it will be Emily or Alfie or Sylvie or Luke people from the show if you haven't watched the show that will mean nothing to you but um yeah I'm very excited I've got to look nice obviously I'm very tired because obviously I was at the NTAs last night and just traveled to Paris but we're gonna push through I might try and find somewhere to get like an iced coffee um and a little snack and then I will start getting ready I'm just um looking around the hotel room and look what I found in the mini fridge it's a little oatly carton that is so cute why don't we have these in England that means I can actually make a cup of tea in a hotel room. I can never normally do that because I don't drink dairy milk. Anyway, I've just hung up my dress, as you can see behind me. Um, this is what I'm wearing later. I'm just kind of unpacking a bit before I go out and explore. I have unpacked a bit and now I'm going to go to go on a walk because I've just realized I didn't bring any bubbles, like hair bubbles, and I'm doing my hair up. The only ones I have are like those silly little elastic bands. So I'm gonna walk to a pharmacy and also look for snacks because I'm hungry. Um, I've just texted the group chat. So there's like a group chat of a few different creators that are going tonight and then the people that work for Meta who is taking us and um, they've just told us that we don't need to be ready now until eight rather than 7 30 so i've got my own time so that's why i'm gonna go for a little walk because i need bubbles um i think i'm just gonna find like a pharmacy i'm gonna search up pharmacy and find one um i'm literally just wearing my joggers and my t-shirt i feel like the most unfashionable person unfashionable person in paris because everyone looks so like chic and cool and i'm just in my t-shirt which has got all bits of like fluff on from my hoodie and some joggers but um this is literally the only other outfit i have apart from my gown so i'm going with this gonna go for a walk little wander around look for maybe someone to get coffee or some bread or a snack and then look for some hair ties because I need a hair tie for my outfit it's so warm in Paris like it was literally thunderstorming raining so cold last night at the MTAs and it's 20 degrees in Paris and sunny and I'm wearing a t-shirt I don't know how the weather got this much better in like such a short distance hotel i've got my hair bands i've got a mini french stick and some vegan cheese because i just feel like because we're going for a fancy dinner and it's at like 8 30 i don't even know if they're serving proper food whether it's just like nibbles and i need to eat otherwise i'll be shaky and stressed so i got a little snack um but yeah i'm just going back to the room now to start getting ready and eat my snacks and start getting ready I've just got back from the shops. I look kind of crazy because I didn't have a big bag with me. So I've literally put all my purchases in my pocket. So I thought I'd do you a haul. Um, first thing I got was some hair bands. I had to actually walk quite far. Also, I just, 
I don't know why, the fact it's only a two hour train, I just assume I'm in London, because it kind of looks like London. So when I get to the till, and then I'm like, oh my God, I don't speak French. I just didn't know what to say. Um, but got some hair bands. That's the most essential part of my purchases. Then I got a baguette. This is like a mini baguette, because I was like, well, I'm in Paris for literally 24 hours. I need to eat a baguette, because that's like the most exciting thing in Paris. Then I got to go with it via life vegan cream cheese who knew they would have this here so but this is the exact same one i have on my bagels at home so i feel like that's kind of boring but i did look for like another one but because i can't read french i couldn't work out which ones were like vegan and which ones were just normal cheese so i just went with via life because i know that this is definitely vegan and then i also got a peach iced tea because obviously there's no like drinks in the hotel room so i got this so i don't be dehydrated um but yeah there's my little updates I'm going to probably sit and eat this, chill out, and then start getting ready. So I need to be ready. They said meet in the lobby at 7.50. It's currently 5.15. So I've got like two hours, 45 minutes. That's quite a long time. Um, I'll probably shower. You know, I might even put my hair back in my heatless curler just to make it curl over that time. Um, but yeah, going to chill and start getting ready for this evening. guys it's just been a while i sat and chilled for a while after i ate my food i put my pajamas on and showered um but now i'm about to do my makeup and get ready i have had a few disasters well the first one obviously you saw was that i forgot i had bands and went to the shop and got some um but now i've just realized i left my little clip on like ring light that i use to take instagram pictures and like film in Casey's bag last night at the NTAs. So I don't have a light with me, which means I probably won't get any good Instagram pictures tonight, unless Lara has one who I'm with. I don't know if she does. Um, I know she has a G7X camera, which do normally take good Instagram pictures. So that is my like one hope in my life is that she's got a G7X and I'm hoping she'll bring it with her. Um, but yeah, I'm about to start doing my makeup. I've got all my stuff. I also had to buy at St Pancras a makeup brush because I had forgotten a makeup brush to do my powder and my bronzer. But yeah, I'm about to do my makeup. This is my podcast. I was thinking, I don't think I've actually ever stayed in a hotel room by myself before. I don't, I think that, I think I mustn't have because I feel really strange here. Like, I don't know if it's because I'm in a whole other country, but I'm just like, I feel like an unaccompanied child. I'm like, someone else needs to be here like I'm by myself in a hotel room in a whole other country and I could just go out and walk around in Paris and like I'm not with anyone I don't know it feels weird um but Meta obviously has invited a few other people from the UK one of those is Lara who you saw in the vlog earlier um and we got the same Eurostar so we like met on the train for the first time and she is staying in this hotel but she's like in a different room on another floor so I'm just by myself for now I feel like weird I've got no one to talk to so I'm going to put on the girls bathroom podcast so I feel like I am talking to someone and do my makeup so I will update you guys once I've done my makeup <laughs> my makeup it's the same makeup I do every single time I do my makeup um but yeah I'm done now so it's 6 50 so I've actually got an hour before I need to actually be in the lobby but obviously I want to get time to like take some pics and stuff so I might get my dress on now and try and do my hair because I feel like um I'm doing my hair up which is not something I normally do if you guys know me I'm always hair down curly hair stressing about my hair you know falling out um so i'm gonna start doing that now put my dress on 
try and do my hair and then we'll see where we are with the time. ready I feel weird having my hair up because I'm not used to having my hair up for this sort of thing so this is the dress it's like a long one with a white bit the dress code was black and white splash so I think this works and then I've done my hair I actually did it in a ponytail and then added like a claw clip to give it a bit more volume um but yeah that's the finished look I have we have like half an hour until we actually have to like go down and meet the others in the lobby so I've just texted Lara to see if she wants to try and get some pictures in one of our rooms first because I feel like it's always good to get some pictures before you go to an event just in case you don't get any at the event um but yeah that's the current situation I'm excited I don't know what's gonna happen tonight I don't know who's gonna be there but I'm sure it will be fun and yeah I'm nervous but excited <laughs> I'm with Laura, we're about to get down. Look at our little matchy outfits. I know, love it. I mean, yours is a bit more glamorous. I feel well, like you're more glamorous than me, so yeah, it makes sense. You know your white is silk. Yeah. Satin, right? Yeah, it's like yeah, silky. so it gives a bit more of a. No, yours looks so good though. <laughs> also, Laura's room is way nicer than mine, but we're not going to complain. We're not going to complain. Um, but yeah, we're about to go down. I'm scared. Who do you think the cast is going to be there? Actually, Last Emily's chance guesses, Emily. I, I really want to meet Luke. <laughs> Luke I feel like he there. would be funny. Like, I think he would. Who was, who's the other one that's not Alfie? Gabrielle. Yes, apparently Gabrielle's British. No, Luke's British. Luke's British. Yeah. Oh God, what we're gonna find out tonight? Yes, we are. We're gonna know the accents and be like, yeah. Um, wow. I'm gonna stop talking French by accident. I'm gonna panic and be like, hello, bonjour. Maybe your TikToks in a different language. Let's try. Oh, it's 15 seconds. Fine. Before it starts. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're on the floor, right? Yeah. Am I? And then I'm going this way. So I'll go yeah. like this when you get up. Yeah. You can you can just make spontaneously, but maybe you can come clear when I'm sitting because I think yeah. it's not so cute from afar. Okay. Oh, three, two, one. Run with her. Run with her. <laughs> That was so fast. <laughs> oh my god. I ran back, but I tried to run. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm actually, I love it. Okay, still. Cool. One, let's do it one. Okay. Let's do it one more time. <laughs> in the hotel last night was so crazy I don't even I can't explain it to you guys I probably will try and explain it um but right now I'm very tired walking to breakfast to meet the other girls um and yeah I'm gonna have breakfast then go to the Eurostar <laughs> guys you're probably thinking it looks like grace is home and i am home i've just got back oh my body suit is, is hanging out of my um trousers let me put you up here. yeah i've just got back from paris i got the eurostar home went for breakfast this morning as you saw i had some porridge 
um, with Vicky and then yeah, just got the Eurostar back. It's so crazy how quick it is because it's right now it's 4 p.m. UK time and I left Paris, well the train was at 1 p.m. French time, which I think is 12 UK time. So it took to get from door to door, what is that, like four hours? Four hours, yeah. Um, but I would say that's pretty quick, quick. Like normally when you go to the airport, you have to go like so many hours before and like it's effort to get. Normally the airport's not like in the center of London. Um, but yeah, it was pretty easy. I just got home. I'm feeling quite tired um, from those two days. I mean, you saw on the vlog, NTAs, then Paris, but Paris was so fun, like so fun. Um, like I can't believe I was invited there. I don't know how much I filmed last night. I might steal some of um, Lara's vlog clips if she lets me um, to put in, but um, it was so fun. Made three new friends, which was the girls I was with, Vicky, Lara and Eve, who were all really nice. And it's so nice to meet new people. And they were all like on their own as well. Um, and we'd all been invited by Meta. So it was so nice to like, you know, make new friends and we were all staying in the same hotel. Um, I've just, got back and I can see a pile of boxes. This normally doesn't happen to me. I always see influencers posting like, so much PR, I've been on holiday and I've come back to just mounds of boxes. That doesn't normally happen to me, but for some reason I've been away for like two days and there's a mound of boxes. So I thought I would open it together on the vlog for something to end this vlog with, um, because there is a whole pile of boxes over here. I'm gonna start with this massive one, but it's not actually that heavy. Um, but I can see that the little reference number on it says Katie Loxton, which is the brand I went to um, in last week's vlog to their event and I met the actual Katie Loxton woman. So I'm hoping this is one of their like travel bags or something. Um, I don't know, I'm not expecting anything so I don't know what So let's have a look. Okay, it's a big bag. This is like bigger than me, this bag. Oh, it says just for you, Grace. That is so cute. What's gonna be in here? Let's open it. Oh my God, it's some bags from Katie Loxton. Oh my God, I was looking at this one and it's got my initials on. I was looking at this one in the vlog last week this is so cute it, it kind of reminds me of like the viral like uniglo bags but oh, this is so cute and it's got my initials on and these are all made of vegan leather as well which i love because normally when you buy fancy bags they're like real leather and obviously i'm vegan so i try and avoid um like my clothes being made of leather as much as i can so oh my god and there's another one. Oh, this one is so cute i love this this reminds me of my Pauline bag where the zip broke. If anyone knows, I used to have this Pauline black bag and the zip broke. So this, that's such a cute bag and I feel like it's actually got loads of room in for like a night out. That would be a great bag. Super cute, I'm very happy with those. I, I mean, the bag was so massive for two bags, but that is so exciting. Okay, next package. This one doesn't have Oh, I actually can kind of see, it says Lottie London here. I love the Lottie London mascara. If anyone watched my makeup tutorial, I was going on about how much I love the Lottie London mascara, the, um, the one that's like a, what's it called? Those types of mascaras that don't like go under your eyes. So I'm hoping there'll be a mascara in here. Lottie London Harley Quinn. This is giving Halloween. This is exciting. How do I open this? Okay, we've got a box in a box. Let's open it. Ooh. Okay, let's have a look through. It's like a lucky dip. We've got, oh, a jumbo heart stamp eyeliner pen. That is so cute to stamp little hearts on your face. This would be great for Halloween or like Eras Tour. Um, not that I'm going to the Eras Tour again, which is sad, but anyway. Um, Harley Quinn Jumbo Eyeliner. This is like a black eyeliner. This looks good for doing your waterline. Um, Harley Quinn. Oh, this is a good sponge. My sponge has almost run out. We've got a highlighter. That's fun. I love putting highlighter in my like inner corner. Oh, and a palette. 
nine piece eyeshadow palette that is so fun i wish i was into like crazy eyeshadow looks but maybe i will give it a go with those we've got transforming liquid lipstick we've got oh ph color changing lip oil rollable that sounds fun that reminds me of like magazine makeup oh and we've got another palette another eyeshadow palette i feel like i should donate these to one of my friends that does proper eyeshadow because i cannot do eyeshadow to save my life but um this is so fun thank you so much and then the last thing in here is her hydrating primer i like the lottie london primer i had like their silicone one before and i really like that so hopefully that one's as good next box i'm seeing is from aborium which is a korean skincare brand and it says redness relief kit i'm hoping this might be their bb cream because i um got sent one of their bb creams but they sent me it in the wrong shade or i think i must have like picked out the wrong shade because it is too dark for me so maybe this will be a new one or just something else like skincare okay this is what i'm seeing cc red correct oh my god cc yeah that's their cc cream i hope this is in the right color redness relief routine <gasps> strawberry matcha moment oh my god is there matcha in this it says, bundled up in this box, you'll find a Borean Redness Relief Kit to celebrate one of our all-time favourite products, the CC Red Correct. For a little pick-me-up moment and an extra do dose of anti-inflammatory goodness, we've teamed up with our friend Jack Mocha Matcha and, and included everything you need to make your own strawberry matcha. That is so fun. Oh my god. Ah, oh my god, we've got a matcha whisk. This is so good because I've literally bent mine and mine is so, like, broken. We've got everyday matcha. I've almost run out of my matcha powder. This is like the best girl package ever. Oh my God, a little strawberry jam. That is so cute. You can put strawberry jam in your matcha. Oh my God. We've got the CC cream. Is this a color? Is this a shade or is this just like all shades? I'm not sure. I guess I will try it when I next do my makeup. Is that everything in here? Oh, and we've got a quartz facial roller that is so cute one of those little things you can like put in the fridge and put on your skin okay next box i feel like this is just going on forever i've got this one it's quite light so i'm gonna see what's in there whenever i get boxes that i'm not expecting somehow i convince myself that like a stalker has got my address and has sent me like human hair or something that's probably a very irrational fear oh my god it's from lancome Oh my god, I actually already have one of these because I went to their event the other day, but I must be must because I'm on their PR list. But it's their new serum. I went to the event for it. Oh my god, well now I've got another one and another refill. Um, it's their new serum. I might actually give this to my mum because I've already got a whole bottle of it myself. But it's meant to be like the best serum ever. I haven't tried it yet, so I don't know. But I'm very excited to try it and I'm sure my mum will love it because I will always share my skincare with her. Okay, one last box. Now this says it's from Free Soul. And Free Soul, um, sometimes I see their ads on TikTok and sometimes influencers like to promote it as like anti-bloating and like sometimes it kind of gives diet culture to me. So I'm not saying I fully agree with all the adverts that I see of Free Soul on TikTok, but they have somehow got my address and sent me a box so let's have a look oh my god what <laughs> okay they've sent me some paddles and a ball i'm gonna take this home and play with this in my parents garden that is fun i mean i don't know i guess i'll keep it in my parents garden and we've got their peach green so as i said i'm a bit skeptical but maybe i'll try it right now to see if i like it um, oh, we've got a little tote bag. Oh, this is a big one. Just a girl who loves her greens. This is a really good size tote bag. It's very long. Um, and what's in here? It's got like peaches on it. I, maybe this is like a water bottle to make the, the greens in. Oh, cute. This is a little cup and a straw. So cute. Oh my God. Well, I'm going to make my matches and my coffees in this if I don't like the greens. Um, oh, I just knocked something on the floor. I'm kind of scared to try these. Should I try them? 
because I tried I tried um, this other brand's greens and it tasted so horrible I, I was going to throw up so I'm quite scared should I try it for you guys so you know never so you know whether to waste your money or not mix one heaped teaspoon into 250 ml cold water okay I'm gonna try it I'm gonna try it I feel like I need some greens after all my traveling but I'm like don't why don't you just eat vegetables but uh, it smells like a pot noodle it doesn't smell of peach I'm smelling pot noodle there um but I might not make it in this big cup because I don't want that much of the portion I'm just gonna make a little cup of it to try it out Okay, I'm gonna whiz it up. I've put it in this cup and I'm gonna whiz it up with my matcha whisk. Oh. It seems very thick. I'm kind of scared. I'm very scared of this. Okay, I'm gonna drink it. Oh, okay. Mm, it kind of smells like peach. It smells like peach mixed with pot noodle. Okay, I'm gonna try it. It's okay. It's got a nice peach aftertaste, but just the initial taste, it smells like vegetables, like like the peas and carrots that are in a pot noodle. Oh, I just don't think I can like sniff. I need to not sniff as I sip it. Let me hold my nose. Okay, well that's slightly better. I mean, I don't know if I'm gonna be drinking this every day. It kind of tastes like peach squash mixed with something that tastes bad, but like the peach squash is kind of the, the main flavour. Um, but I mean, I might feel amazing. I'm going to try drink all of this. I might feel amazing tomorrow and want to have them every day. So time will tell. I guess I'll update you guys in the next vlog. But um, I don't like the adverts where people are saying like, you need to have a small tummy and the only way to get them is by drinking greens. I don't like that. But for the girls that are actually doing it for health reasons, like, to be healthy. I mean, that's good, good for them. Okay, um, so anyway, that is my PR haul. Thank you very much. I think I'm very, I think I'm the most excited about the Katie Loxton bags because I love having new handbags to style in my outfit videos. Um, and I'll see how I get on with the greens. I'm not sure. I'm excited to try this Arborium CC cream. Um, but yeah, thank you to all those brands, which was Katie Loxton, Free Soul, Lancome, Lottie London, Anaborium. Thank you to all of those brands because that is so exciting to have that many things to open when I get back. Um, but I think I'm gonna end this vlog here because I have filmed so much content. I've got a lot to edit. I'm filming this on Friday and this video is going up on Sunday. So I've got a few days to edit the vlog, but I'm gonna give me some time to edit it because I'm very tired right now. Um, but I hope you all enjoyed this vlog was probably the most exciting thing ever because I never normally leave the house. So going to London and Paris, very fun. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in next week's video where I'm probably gonna be doing something a bit more boring. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed and um, if you want to see me before then, I post every day on Instagram, TikTok, I'm trying to post every day on Snapchat sometimes um and then on youtube once a week every sunday i post these long videos um but yeah i hope you're all having a good week and i will see you in next week's video